Imagine you are in a conversation with someone. You are trying to make a point, but the other person keeps saying, it's either this or that. This is called affirming the disjunct. It is a logical fallacy that occurs when someone assumes that because one part of a disjunctive statement is true, the other part must be false. Here are some examples of affirming the disjunct. You are arguing that Gus is either Christian or politically liberal. The other person says, Gus is a Christian, so he must not be politically liberal. This is affirming the disjunct because it is possible for Gus to be both Christian and politically liberal. You are arguing about the origins of the universe. The other person says, either God created the world, or evolution happened. They then go on to say, evolution happened, so God must not have created the world. This is affirming the disjunct because it is possible that both God played a role in creation and evolution is a mechanism through which it occurred. Affirming the disjunct is a common fallacy that people make. It is important to be aware of it so that you don't fall for it. If someone is using affirming the disjunct on you, here are a few things you can do. Point out the fallacy. Tell the person that they are committing the fallacy of affirming the disjunct. Ask them to explain their reasoning. Ask the person to explain why they think the other part of the disjunct must be false if one part is true. Provide counterexamples. Give the person examples of cases where both parts of the disjunct are true. By being aware of affirming the disjunct and knowing how to deal with it, you can avoid being tricked into making bad arguments.